Hi, everybody. I'm Linda Schneider, one of your uh, silver leaders, and uh, we're going to get started on the uh, Sword of Silver tonight and finish up our sales guide. Uh, I wanted to wish a very happy birthday to Jennifer Gilman. Uh, that's why she's not here tonight. She always does such a wonderful job with these, and she certainly deserves the night off and hope she's having a good time tonight. Um, she Last week, she did um, a few of the pages, kind of helping us get this towards the end, uh, talked about the closing and enrolling and objections. And tonight, we're going to go over the last bit of information. And if you've got your sales guide, you can get that out. Um, we're going to have, have it up on the screen as well. Um, I did want to go over a few things before we get started in case there's some latecomers. If nobody shows, we are recording it, so we are going to post it in the um, building, Everyday Essentials um, building site. So um, first of all, I um, want to talk about diffusing. Um, right now I've got a wonderful smell back here. Um, tomorrow is the first of October and fall is here, so um, our wonderful leaders gave us this nice, uh, oh, amazing diffuser recipes uh, when we were out in Salt Lake City. And there are some good ones here uh, for fall. So you might want to jot down uh, one column fallen leaves. It's three drops of Terra Shield, two of On Guard, and two of Frankincense. I haven't tried it yet. This one sounds even better. It's called Apple Pie. There's three drops of Douglas fir, three drops of citrus bliss, and two of cinnamon. Um, if you're wanting some fall smells, you can always do on guard, cloves, cinnamon, wild orange, a number of those give some good fall smells. Um, but I am kind of cheating tonight. I pulled out the harvest spice that we had last year, and that's what I'm diffusing. And that definitely has a wonderful fall smell to it. Um, it has, uh, let's see if I can read it, cassia, clove, uh, eucalyptus, cedarwood, nutmeg, and cinnamon in it. And it smells yummy. So that's what I'm diffusing while we're having our meeting tonight. And uh, next week, I'll go ahead and tell you next week, October 7th, uh, we're going to be beginning the Fall Forward Enrollment Challenge. And this is going to be excellent. You need to look in on the site and see all of the details about it. I'm sure your leaders have been sending you some things or posting something um, or sending you an email. They're going to have the different guest speakers each week right here. Um, they're going to be some wonderful speakers. I've seen the list and the lineup. You're not going to want to miss them. If you're working or you can't join live, we'll be recording them so you'll be able to watch it. Um, starting next week, uh, Elaine and Jennifer are going to kick it off and give you all the explanations, what's going on, how it works. I'm uh, going to talk to you about some of the speakers, but you're definitely not going to want to miss it. So that'll be next, starting next week, and it goes for eight weeks. Um, now, before that, let's see, I made some notes so I wouldn't forget anything. Oh, Saturday is the Together Tour in Orlando. So if you're in or near and around the um, Orlando area or in Florida, it's even worth a, a few hours drive if you need to. Um, if you didn't get to go to convention, or even if you went, these are always so wonderful to go. You can also get the Together um, Convention Kit when you're there. You won't have to wait for it to come in the mail. Um, there are several people I know that are doing carpools in my group, and I heard Jen say she was doing some carpools. I think her cars are full, um, but check with somebody, see if they're going, or bring somebody. They said you can bring a guest for free. So make sure that you plan that. If you're not in this area, 
there's a list on doTERRA.com where you register. It tells you where they are at all over the country because they're going to be going on, I think, the next couple of weeks. So check that out. And we just finished oil camp last week. Um, we're going to be starting uh, oil camp two in November. Um, but if you did miss it, it's going to be um, up for a little while. So you could go back and um, you know look at the videos and do that. If you check with somebody to add you in there, I'm sure you could go back and look at it if you missed oil camp. Um, the prizes have already been offered, but you can certainly go in there and check that out. And what's the last thing I wanted to say? Oh, tomorrow's October 1st. You know what that means? You're going to be watching to see what is going to be on sale, uh, what the um, product of the month will be that you need to place your $125 order before the 15th so you get the product of the month. All right. Okay, well, I've uh, wasted six minutes of time giving you great information, but that's given some people some time to get in here. So I'm going to go ahead and start in on the sales guide. We are on page 20. I'm going to share my screen so we can pull that up. All right, I've got, you've got to sign in to doTERRA.com. For some reason. <laughs> there we go. It had timed out, so sometimes that happens when it times out. All right, so what you want to do when you're signed in, I guess you guys can see me, you can't see me. I think what I did, hold on just a second. There, that worked. Okay. <laughs> All right. When you get here, you're going to want to go to resources up at the top line and then go into empowered success. And this is where there is a lots of information. Um, if you scroll down, you'll see a lot of different things that you can go into, a lot of the um, basic training guides that are here. What's wonderful is you can download these. You don't have to buy them. You can download them and save them to your computer. Um, and you'll always have them. You can also order them and they will mail them to you. So we are going to go up here to the purple mark where it says Empowered Success. And right there is Sales Guide. I'm going to click on the Sales Guide. And let me find the step. Okay, last week she did the close and enrolling in Total Wellness Lifestyle and answering objectives. Tonight we're going to um, do step eight and nine and, and close it out. So let's go here. We're going to watch this little video first. finished. The second to last step in the doTERRA sales cycle is gather referrals. Leverage the excitement from the class to gather referrals and book future classes with class members. You can expect that people will want to help their friends and family. You may find that people go blank if you just ask, who do you know? Help jog their memory by suggesting categories of people, 
friends, family, coworkers, etc. As you're gathering referrals, here are some things that can help. Invite attendees to host a class for their friends. Always keep at least two time slots available on your calendar for them to choose from. Offer an incentive for those that book a new class at the event. Use LRP points to purchase inexpensive incentive gifts. Avoid using the word referral. Ask instead who came to mind during the class that they thought would have enjoyed being there. If you're in a one-on-one, -on -one, you can ask for referrals by saying something like this. I really appreciate working with you tonight, and I know you'll love your enrollment kit. I found that many of the people who come to these presentations get about 10 minutes in and think of friends or family members who would have loved to learn what you just did. I like to set up classes for those people you feel missed out. Did anyone come to mind during the class? Friends, family, workout partners, people from church? If you're in a group setting, try saying something more like this. By now, most of you have had three or four people, or 20, come to mind who would have enjoyed what we covered tonight. If you would like to host your own class, get with me after and we'll set something up. But hurry, because time's our first come first served. Now that you've learned about gathering referrals, it's time to rate yourself. On a scale of 1 to 10, how well do you gather referrals? Once you've decided on your rating, be sure to write it in the box on page 20 of the guide. Okay, well, I think um, most of us know we usually depend on our family and our friends and coworkers for referrals. Um, but I like how she mentioned uh, when, when you're having a class, the people that are in attendance there, you can offer some kind of an incentive for them to host a class. A lot of times they like what they see and uh, maybe they're not ready to, to commit to buy or sign up at the time, but they would do it later on at their own class. I found that with a few people. So make sure you look on page 20. There's a place, uh, there's a box in there to rate yourself on one to 10 on how how well you're doing with getting referrals. All right, um, this is what she said here already. And hopefully you've rated yourself. So we're gonna go on to the next page. Page 21. This one's gonna talk about the follow-up. step of the sales cycle is to follow up. Get a next step on your calendar. Schedule a lifestyle overview for every person who enrolls. For those interested in discussing the business opportunity, schedule a business overview. Inevitably, you will find some people who are not yet ready to enroll. Continue to nurture the relationship. Strong relationships are the most valuable resource in your business. When you follow up, keep these tips in mind. Schedule a lifestyle overview with every customer to review their wellness goals and enroll them in the Loyalty Rewards Program. Never leave a class or one-on-one -on -one without a time and date for the next step. Be pleasantly persistent. Scheduling a lifestyle overview with your customers might sound something like this. As I said in the class, the next step is scheduling a lifestyle overview so I can teach you how to use your kit. It will only take 30 minutes and I have time on Wednesday evening at 7.30 or Thursday morning at 11. Which one fits best with your schedule? Following up is an important part of supporting your customers. As wellness advocate Rod Richardson said, as wellness advocate Rod Richardson said, people love the lifestyle overview because it's the customer support everyone is hoping for. Supporting your customers and following up helps you turn one-time buyers into lifetime customers. How well do you follow up? Rate yourself from 1 to 10 and record your answer on page 21 of the sales guide. Okay, on 
on page 21. Um, we do have a rating down here. Um, rate yourself from one to 10 on how confident you feel um, with following up. And I will have to be honest here. This is an area that I do struggle with. Uh, sometimes when I have classes or um, most of the time I have in-home parties um, and I get so excited and so busy talking with people and answering questions or signing up people that I totally forget to do that. And it's usually something after the fact that I have to go and call them back later on and say, you know, we need to schedule your lifestyle overview for when your kit comes in. Sometimes I, I, I don't always call it that either. I just say, when your kit comes in, give me a call and I'll come over and we'll go over your kit. That's my way in the door. Um, so just however it's best for you to do it. Um, and even after that, you need to continue to follow up with your people. If you forget about them or you don't talk to them anymore, they don't know what to do with that kit when it comes in. So follow up is very important. Um, and I agree with her. If you can set those dates up right there and then, then you've already got that on your calendar and it's taken care of. So rate yourself from one to 10 on that. Mine's pretty low. I'm still working on that area. We will move on to the next page. Unlocking your potential. Congratulations, you've made it to the end. Throughout these videos, you've learned principles that will help you unlock your potential as a doTERRA wellness advocate. You know that selling the doTERRA way means serving others and building relationships. And after clarifying why you're selling doTERRA products and letting go of misconceptions, you have embraced your identity as a salesperson. You've learned essential skills, identified the fundamentals of success, mindset, skill set, and tool set, and studied the doTERRA sales cycle. Continue applying these sales principles and honing your skills so you can achieve your goals. It's now time to tally your sales score. Transfer your rating for each step of the sales cycle from the previous pages. Tally your scores in the first column to create a comprehensive review of your current sales score. This sales score makes your progress quantifiable and allows you to easily identify your strongest and weakest areas. This guide is a great tool for coaching your team and developing their sales ability. Encourage your team members to fill out the guide and record their scores. As you coach them, start by asking what their current sales score is and help them improve in the areas where they need help. Next, plan and track your success. Examine your two strongest areas of the sales cycle. Analyze what unique skills and talents you use to succeed at those steps. Then find ways to use those talents to improve your two weakest areas. For example, if you feel confident inviting but struggle with closing, Deconstruct which strengths you use to invite and see how they can be used to help you close. Create an action plan for increasing your scores. For each of your two lowest scores, answer the questions, what specific action will you take to improve this area? When will you take this action? How will you know you've improved? Consider implementing the skill building suggestions in this guide, role playing to gain confidence or working with an upline leader. Write down your action plan on page 23 of the guide. Now that you know what you're gonna work on, set your sales goals. What's your organizational volume sales goal for the next 30 days? 90 days? 12 months? How will you celebrate when you achieve your goals? Write these goals down and how you will celebrate on page 23. Reassess your sales score regularly to refocus your efforts on the areas that will benefit most from improvement. Each time you revisit and reassess, you'll follow the same steps you did today, just as this flowchart details for you. 
As you put in the work and watch your sales score rise, you'll find excitement in selling the doTERRA way and enjoy the dividends of building a thriving business. Here's a final thought from executive founder Greg Cook. When you share doTERRA products, you bring hope and wellness to the people you love, your community, and ultimately the world. Selling the doTERRA way is about service. One drop at a time and one person at a time, we're serving the world with wellness solutions. Thank you for watching and good luck putting your new sales identity into action. As you watch others experience growth and change, you will see your doTERRA business not just in terms of customers and sales, but as a way to make a difference in your community and the world. What's great about these trainings, they give you everything right here um, on the screen and in your hand if you printed it out or if you purchased the sales guide, um, the list of sales scores that she has here, exactly what she was saying on the video on how to tally them up, and then to revisit it quarterly to see if you're improving. That's important. Maybe if you're not improving, the best thing to do would be to sit down with your upline leader and work out a plan, um, get some ideas from them or um, somebody in your team that has been very successful. Um, and notice when she was showing the scores on the screen, the two lowest on there was the close and the follow-up, which are ones that most people have struggles with, including myself. But it was funny when she started to talk about it. Well, not funny, but um, it, was, it was really good because I didn't think that way. She didn't focus on the two lowest scores. She said to focus on your two highest scores and then use what you are doing with those two highest scores to help you bring up those two low areas. So that's real important because we do have a tendency to um, focus on the low or focus on the negative. So look at what's working for you and move that into other areas that might not be working for you and definitely check with your upline leader because they can help you with that um, that's what we have coaching teams for um, planning and tracking our successes is is very important um, paper um, said what specific action will you take to improve this area when will you take this action? And how will you know you have improved? So those are questions that you can actually you know, write down and be accountable for. Um, setting your goals. We've always talked about that in doTERRA, but setting your goals. Um, let's see what else is on there. Oh, there it is right there. <laughs> I should have scrolled down a little further. All right, set your goals, revisit and reassess. I really liked the quote that she gave. It's worth repeating. When you share doTERRA products, you bring hope and wellness to the people you love, your community, and ultimately the world. Selling the doTERRA way is about service. One drop at a time and one person at a time, we are serving the world with wellness solutions. And that's an excellent thing to end with here. And let's see if I can stop sharing. And this is our time for questions. So since nobody is here, if you have any questions on this, it would probably be best if you can type them in because uh, we are going to put this on the share and build site um, as a recording. So you can always put your questions there or um, check with your, your leader and find out, you know, what they can help you with on that. Um, that is all of the sales guide. It's taken a number of weeks to go through it. And um, mostly Elaine and, and Jennifer have done such a wonderful job with it. Um, and the videos in the doTERRA site are just the best. And there's more. There, there's blogs out there. There's um, 
if you'll go into those resources and just click on it, there are all kinds of resources that you can look at on your own to help you to, to build your business. Um, just to reiterate, next week is the beginning of the Fall Forward Enrollment Challenge. Um, there's so many things that will be coming up. Um, you're going to be um, getting, if you enroll people, you hold an event, um, you watch the Sword of Silvers on Monday night, um, you participate in coaching calls, um, there's going to be all kinds of prizes. I have seen the list of the prizes and I want some of those prizes. So make sure you're participating and um, check on all the things that are going to be offered through this and hopefully we'll see you at those. Um, Saturday is the Together Tour in Orlando or other dates all across the country. So log into doTERRA.com and, and go to the um, I think it's the together section where you can find the list of those um, or it might be convention and um, check on when those enrollment, I mean, <laughs> when those tours are going to be offered. So I will stop the recording now and hope you guys have a good evening and we'll see you next time.